All right, this is SAT prep. We're doing test three, section three, and this is number 15, which is the last of the multiple choice questions. The equation above shows the temperature F measured in degrees Fahrenheit as it relates to the temperature C measured in degrees Celsius. Based on the equation, which of the following must be true? So notice that must be true, right? All right, so a temperature increase of one degree in Fahrenheit is equivalent to a temperature increase of five ninths degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's, let's walk through this. A temp temperature increase of one degree Celsius is equivalent to a temperature increase of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, a temperature increase of 5 ninths degree Fahrenheit is equal to a temperature increase of 1 degree Celsius. So maybe the easiest way to do this uh, is to just, well, I was going to say you could plug in, but I get that you're probably not loving that on a non-calculator section. So here's the deal, right? So if I distribute this 5 ninths, right, I'm going to get, uh, I can leave it as 32 times 5, certainly, but it's a 160 over 9. Okay, so here's the idea, right? This slope, right, so in this situation, here's your, your y and your x, right? This is y equals mx plus b, right? Remember that slope is traditionally change in y over change in x, right? Meaning in this situation, right, slope would be change in Celsius, which was the y value, over change in Fahrenheit, right? Another way to write that 5 ninths, right, would be 5 ninths over 1, meaning 1 degree change Fahrenheit is a 5 ninths degree change in Celsius. Well, that's what this says. This says 1 degree change in Fahrenheit is equal to 5 ninths degree change in Celsius. That's correct, okay? Another way to write this slope, right, so, so it, it is a 5 ninths, right, but another way to write that 5 ninths, wouldn't this be the same as uh, if you divide by 9 fifths, it's like multiplying by 9, uh, by uh, five ninths, right? So, so wouldn't this be the same as one over a nine fifths, right? Because uh, dividing by nine fifths is the same as multiplying by five ninths, right? Meaning one degree Celsius is the same as nine fifths, or for the record, nine fifths is one point eight, right? Because nine fifths is the same as eighteen over ten, which is one point eight, right? Um, so, wouldn't one degree change in Celsius be equivalent to 1.8 degrees uh, change in Fahrenheit. Well, yes, it would. So, so two is also true. So you can knock off anything that only is one, only has two. And at this point, you can knock off three only. You don't even have to bother checking three because the only choices are one and two only. That's the only one that would be relevant. Um, and honestly, I could have knocked off some other answers earlier, right? Um, I could have, I could have, at the moment I figured this one out, which I think is the easiest, I think that one is the easiest one to prove true. I could use one to knock out two only and three only, right? So like, like those are done the second that I know one works, right? When one is true, I can knock off two only and three only. Um, so as soon as I know that one is true, I can knock off those. And then I just need to check two and two is true. And that's, that's why my answer is D.